What's up, everybody? A spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Medieval Engineers. Ooh, framage. Uh, when we left off in the last episode, we built ourselves a medieval hot tub with our uh, bigger dining table thing for entertaining people. Um, so the next step that I want to work on is some kind of grill, right? Like some kind of furnace -y grill type thing over in this region. Uh, then we'll make some seating type areas over here. Uh, and then I think we'll move back more into the interior and try and focus on what all these different rooms are for and so on and so on. Um, so yeah, let's let's just jump right into it, I guess. This one is probably going to be um, another dynamic structure. So I'm going to pull couple of the floor pieces out here just for a minute so that I can work on well I don't know that I actually need it to be pulled away from the wall so we could probably just do this one and be okay let's try that because it doesn't have to be huge I'm not I'm not actually doing like a typical medieval style of like fire pits or furnace like I actually want to make a grill kind of thing like you would see on somebody's back patio um, but with my own little flair to it like I'm kind of trying to blend the two so this is gonna be a base I think like this is gonna be an interesting grill I I have I'm going to specify this already I have no inclination of how grills are supposed to be made um, so it's probably going to be wrong and weird looking, but we're going to try, I'm just going to try some stuff, I think, and see if I can get a design that I like. Let's just do, I'm doing this just so it has kind of a base to work with. Um, but I don't know how we'll do all of this stuff, but first of all, we need, um, kind of a... I'm trying to keep this relative to a person or a player too. So let's do like maybe well, let's go a little bit taller. Maybe. Okay. So from here, what I'd like to do is add Well, no. Okay, maybe not. Let's let's do this part first. Um this is going to be a strange grill. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm just gonna play around with this and see what kind of design I can get. Uh, but make no mistake, prepare for weirdness. Um, I have an idea in my head, but it's already different than how it looked in my head. <laughs> so I don't know if it's actually gonna work or not. Let's see about like that. Should work. And then what I'd like to do is kind of do the framing that I did over here. Maybe some... That's the right dimensions, right? Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, like that. And then we can do full boards like this. Perfect. Again, weirdness. It's gonna happen. It's already happening, sort of. I might have I might need to do this a little bit lower actually. Let's go I should have trusted my original idea. Let's go up like two. Um the reason I'm doing this is because I actually want a layer where there's a fire um and not um not the uh layer where it's like I don't really know what the best way to explain this is but oh I did did I do that wrong? No I didn't do that wrong um I don't know the better the best way to explain it but basically like I want to cover up the flame almost like you would do an actual charcoal grill or something okay that's now connected to the center 
I'm gonna leave that there for a second, actually. Because I'd like to- wow, my frames, why? I'm not doing anything. Leave me alone! Um, I want to remove these center pillars and take them down by one. Like I said, like I originally planned on doing. Crap. I was hoping to do this without breaking anything, but that was probably too much to hope for. Okay. This is this is closer probably to where I was needing it. Okay. So we can get rid of this middle one now. I don't really know if we need the base part in there. Um it was just something that I had in there and I kind of decided to leave. Because I figured it made more sense to have a, a base structure. Oh, I know what we could do. We could do one one blocks. Um, and we can write this off as ventilation, maybe. Gives it somewhere to breathe? I don't know. I'm just made. I didn't want to do another like fire pit or a furnace or something. Like I actually wanted to try my hand at doing something a little different. I don't know how this is going to work, though. Um, we're going to need stuff like this, I think. And then I want to do... Of course I have the dimensions wrong. Great. Oh, that actually works. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. This part doesn't work, so I have a four-burner grill, apparently. Uh... <laughs> It is a very large grill. Actually, you know what we could do is we could actually put them in the bottom like this. I mean, it doesn't actually have to... I was going to build it up higher, but it doesn't actually have to be like that. Like that, maybe. Maybe that'll work better. Okay, that's not bad. It's low, though. That's the only problem for me. Eh, let's, let's bring it back up. I know, indecisive. Because what I want to do is kind of like this, but bring it up a bit to where... Um, to where when we cover it up, then it actually has like a... Um, a grill to it like you, you do in real modern stuff where there's like a frame over top of it. Um, wow, I don't know why I'm getting directional frame rate issues. It's so weird. It's like it, when you look this way, same amount of flames, but it's 20. When we look this way, same amount of flames, but it's like 10. And I can't see that over there or this causing that much lag. I mean, that's just weird. So, whatever. I apologize for that. Hope it doesn't interfere too much. Um, we're going to need this to be higher, I think. Place. And my frames. Okay. Um... That might be a little too high. Well, okay, keyboard locked up. That's that's cool. Let's do one quadrant this way, and let's not make it this quadrant. Good lord. What's going on over there? Okay, and this one should be... I can't see because of his hand in the way. There we go, something like that. Um, alright. Well, that's interesting. Okay, so if we did something like this, this is just experimenting here. How tall is this? That's not bad. You'd kind of be reaching a bit to make that work. Uh, but we'll go with it. 
It's not really hurting anything. Um, and let's do... Can we do two? I think it's... I think it's too thin. Oh, we could do... Oh, I know. <laughs> I got an idea. We'll make this a hibachi grill. There we go. <laughs> uh, I'm totally not opposed to that, actually. Oi. Why this direction is what I don't get. Okay, and then I actually have a new idea that I want to do um, for the centerpiece there. Come on, move. Oi. Come on, stop that. Actually, I'm a I'm a dumb dumb. Well, okay. So for this, we'll f we'll do it the right way. <laughs> Click and dragging. Okay. Um, this one is going to be a full beam, and this one is going to be a full beam. If I can move around. There we go. So, this is my idea. Oops. I don't know if this would work or not. But this is my logic behind why this grill works. Bottom is for vents. This is for... Um, stoking or adding new... Flame, I guess, kind of thing. And then this is like your hibachi grill where you actually grill stuff. That's my, th that's my philosophy. The wood patterns on the inside are all a mess. Okay, we can fix that, though. By just making them go this way. There we go. That way it matches. Alright, now... I want to do something a little different. I want to make an umbrella. Ella, Ella, A, A. Um, should probably be fairly tall, but I don't know... If that's a little ridiculous, it might be. Let's try like this. Then what we're going to do is use the newer um, roofing blocks. Um, I don't think we're really going to need those that much. Okay, yeah, I totally want to put this one right here. Don't you guys think that'll work? I mean... Okay. So... We're going to need... Can I not place it on this? I want that one. That's kind of what I was looking for. Why won't it let me place on this? Is it not tall enough? Oh, I guess it's not. Hmm. Alright. Then let's try... And go... Let's try and see if we can do the full beams then. Maybe that'll work better. I'm either going to have to do the full beams or knock it down a hair. Oh, come on. Right there. Just go. There we go. That can be a little annoying sometimes. That looks a little too tall to me. Now, is it because of... Whoa, what the... Is it because of that it won't work? I don't understand why it's not letting me... I mean, I'm, I'm staying inside a grid block, so I don't get why... It's not allowing this to work. I 
Oh, maybe I needed to do the merge block. Or combo block. Here we go, that's not bad. Um, yeah, I think that works. I hope. I think it goes all the way up to the top. So that way it has like a canopy to protect the food while you're cooking. It's my idea anyway. Alright, so that's done. So it's time to move to... Um, time to move to... Buildings. Like, chairs. I, I think I want to do these custom... I was thinking about just putting chairs down, but I think it would work better to do them more like a custom chair. So, I want just... One, two... Let's make them like three wide. How's that look? Yeah, that looks about... Maybe one less. Yeah, that'll be good. And then we need it to be... Let's see, how tall is the character? No, not quite. Mm, nope. A little bit taller than that one. There we go. Well, maybe one more. Okay, so about like this. That's the length we're looking for. Um, and let's do maybe a couple of more blocks just to make it... Okay, so one down from the top one I think will be best. Um, and let's make it... Yeah, about like this. I think that looks like a good lawn chair. Um, on second thought, though, we might need to scale this back a hair. And the reason for that... Um, is because of how the lawn chairs usually work, is that they end up going, like, up at the end. So, let's put... Let's make the legs, like, here. Which one is it? This way? There we go. Alright. Come to Papa. There we go. And we're going to put blocks here and here. Well, maybe we should go in one. That might give it a bit more of a lawn chair look. That works. And then we'll bring this this out. Something like that. Now, in hindsight, we probably won't be able to pull off the angle type look kind of thing. Well, how tall is this? That's not... Yeah, that's kind of ridiculous. So we probably won't be able to do the angle much. But we can still make it look kind of loungery by doing something like this. And then we'll fill this in. This looks like the most uncomfortable chair in the entire world, but, you know, it was the, it was the Dark Ages. Um, let's see if we can put like that, maybe. I don't know how this is actually going to end up looking. Okay. Um... Maybe if we add just a peg on the end, it might look a bit more like a, a lawn chair kind of deal. Um, and then we'll do... Like this. For like armrests? I don't know. I don't know. They're, they're derpy looking, I know. But making lemonades out of lemons. 
Lemonades. Lemonade out of lemons. Maybe, would this be better as a one? Actually, that, those would probably be better not at all. Wouldn't it? Yeah, let's go with that. Kind of looks like some kind of battering ram wheelchair thing, but you know. Alright, now what I'm going to do is something I got the idea of the other day that I didn't realize these turn into dynamic objects. So, well, what I mean by dynamic is now they're all one solid object. Just like the table, the... Um, I don't know about the furnace and the hot tub because we actually put those into the floor. But that way we can do stuff like this. Which is kind of cool. Okay, um... Actually, we need to bring this in a bit more over here. So let's put that one there. We'll get rid of this one. And I'd like this to match up, so we'll put this one like here. And then maybe... Maybe we'll do a little table thing or something here. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. Um, Alright, there goes that one. Oh, jeez, no. Crap. Crap, muffin. Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> Can I paste it back in? Hold on. <laughs> this is going to be the most amazing maneuver ever. Alright, come on, buddy. You can do it can do it. <laughs> Alright. Alright. I gotta match. I'm matching the fire pit here. Or the... Right there. Why can't I place that? That's wherever... It's probably because of the dynamic objects. Crap, man. Hold on, hold on. Uh, place that there. This is going to be the derpiest thing I think I've ever done in my life. Alright. Um. <laughs> Here, you, you stay there, table. Um, well. Okay, I don't really care about these. Because they're just blocks. Um, and we'll get rid of these, because there's one actually on the house here. Okay. Oi. Oh, look at all the fires that are still there. Somehow. Alright, I don't remember where this house was. Let's go with that. Because it's not fighting me, and it looks like it's in the terrain. Okay. Okay. Um, something happened here. Sure, we'll go with it. Um, let's dynamic it. And then we just need... Ooh, I don't want to bump it. Wow, that was... That was something. And we'll add a chair there. We'll add new fire pits here. Is that how I had it before? Must have been. Alright. We're going to turn the hot tub off for a minute here. was, uh, that was, uh, something. Okay. Oh, crap. Now this isn't being seen as a dynamic object anymore. Ugh. Alright, so we might have to wait on the lawn chairs. Might have to rebuild that. Um, but anyways, I think we're gonna end the episode here on that note. In the meantime, I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.